hello students uh, before creating uh, data tables uh, let me tell you let me give you an overview of how google app sheet engine works in this diagram you can see that the google app sheet engine picks data tables from uh, database service providers uh, 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 data sources this is the data source and uh, we you can connect app sheet to multiple data uh, services provider like amazon like azure like google cloud uh, sql ibm cloud sql maria db postgres sql multiple sources of data service provider you can connect app sheet to and this is uh, this is another uh, great attraction of google app sheet that it, it can be connected to multiple data services provider uh, and uh, but uh, the google app sheet by default is connected to google drive uh, and google sheets uh, one another plus is that uh, Google App Sheet can also be integrated to the uh, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Office 365. So, and the App Sheet has its own built-in uh, database, but we will use Google Drive, Google Sheets, because uh, the data uh, we will collect uh, uh, from our app will be easily accessible in google sheets and we will do analysis on it so for this uh, uh, course uh, uh, we are creating our data tables in uh, google sheets so this is uh, uh, the first step google app sheet picks uh, uh, tables from database service provider and the next thing the Google App Sheet do is to create relationship between the data tables by reference data type, by referencing the data table. When uh, uh, it reference one column to uh, from one column of one table to another column, uh, this is how the relationship builds. Uh, and another thing the App Sheet do. Uh, does is that it uh, gives data type to each column uh, on its own it has its own data types remember students it has its own data types and we will learn more about data types uh, we, we uh, i gave you some introduction of data types but i will give you more uh, uh, we will learn more about data types uh, and the next thing it do is uh, um, that it on the top of these tables uh, that it picks from uh, uh, relational databases from google sheets or from microsoft excel uh, when it picks uh, um, tables they uh, the app sheet builds user interface means views uh, as we see in the mobile uh, different views uh, different screens so then it builds different screens in different um, actions like uh, uh, send SMS, like send uh, notifications, send emails. So it uh, it automates the whole process uh, of creating user interface and actions. It uh, the, the another very great uh, feature of AppSheet is that it automate uh, data and after uh, data entry and the communication pro process. Uh, when when uh, a user enter data it uh, automatically send uh, uh, email it can automatically send email uh, uh, sms notification so this is another feature of app sheet so uh, as per this mechanism we will learn uh, uh, one by one first we will create data tables in google sheets in google drive and then that data tables we will connect uh, we will add that uh, data tables uh, to google app sheet uh, google app sheet uh, uh, the google app sheet 
then we'll create different user interfaces on top of it uh, and create uh, different actions so in this way we will go forward and we will learn app sheet uh, systematically uh, object by object thank you so much coming up we are creating tables in google drive uh, uh, thank you so much